Take two! Okay. Um, it's like three days later from that first clip. Um, but nevertheless, we're gonna get into this. So, uh, like I said, what's up? It's your boy, Darshan Smith, uh, Positivity God, uh, Big D Podcast, Positivity Hour, um, episode 33, I think. I don't know. Let's, let's roll the intro at this point. <laughs> Now that we're uh, into the video, I have no agenda for today, so we could talk for a total of five minutes, or we could talk for a total of five hours. I'm joking. It's called the Positivity Hour for a reason, you know, hour maximum. Um, I don't think I've ever got that far, but I've gotten up to like 47 minutes before, but I don't think today's that. I just want to drop some knowledge bombs on y'all, post a weekly podcast episode, because, you know, that's that's the goal. I eventually, you know, I've been daily uploading on YouTube. That's why this counts as my daily upload on YouTube, because I post the video version of this on uh, YouTube, but I, you know, post the audio versions of this uh, wherever you can find a podcast, you know, Apple, Google, Spotify, uh, Anchor, you know, Radio broadcast but you know anywhere you can listen to podcasts on type in darshan smith the positivity hour and just be be surprised okay mm. i just got my like daily hour workout in i'm a little sweaty so if i look a little glossy in the sunlight that's why um but yeah so i'm pretty much just going to talk to the camera today uh like i said i ain't got no agenda or anything um other than yo i'm be 100 percent honest with y'all about like uh something i just did today during my workout that I was like, hey, we, we doing something right, okay? So uh, before I get into that though, uh, this this episode is gonna be titled whatever it's titled because I haven't thought that far ahead. And this episode, I'm pretty sure 33, so let's just get that out the way. And staying uh, new normal and everything to like what the, normally happens in these podcasts. Little update on the life. Um, life is crazy uh it's it's unfair it is did i mention crazy it's unpredictable uh crazy but nothing we can't handle you know everything is down packed for the most part everything is well within our control and if it's not best believe we not one to easily give up like trust but trust and believe part of my party people i'm a hard-working individual and although i'm one for shortcuts and i, I like a quick fix and all that i'm also aware Especially in the workout scene, as I said, I just did an hour workout that, you know, some things in life, such as boxing or whatever else you try to do, there, there's no shortcuts to that, you know? There, there's no, there's no, there's no half, you know, doing it. There's no, uh, no, no full motivation, whatever you want to call it. You're either doing it or you're not, you know? Uh, there's no being wishy-washy. There's no in between. There's no, there's no none of that, you know? And a lot of things in life that I'm encountering right now, like drinking this water, you know, there's no shortcuts to that. Like, like, yeah, you could drink some flavored water. You could drink some carbonated water. But if you out here trying to live the healthy lifestyle, you're going to go straight to your tap with your favorite water bottle and fill that up with just some normal H2O and drink that every day. This is 32 fluid ounces right here. I think I need to drink like four maybe five and a half of these a day to get my daily uh, recommended water intake. Now, do I do that every day? No, but I can definitely tell you, I drink more water than most people, and this ain't my first one of the day, and it's only 10.30, so, of the a.m., you know, it's, uh, I I've been up for about four hours, you know, being productive here and there. Like I said, I'll be trying to make money every day in my life, and if I'm not actually making money, I'm working on things that have potential to make money in the future, you know, because like I said, I'm trying to retire at 35, and life is going good on that goal, and I say it in these videos to keep it, uh, hold myself accountable, to, to, to motivate and inspire others, because that's what I'm here for, you know. Um, I, I know one thing I can talk about in this video because it just came to my head here and I'd like to say it to other people to, you know, further, like I said, hold myself accountable and just like put the thought out there. So, cause I do listen to my own podcast like a week later or something. Cause I say some inspirational things in here. I say things that I would tell myself, you know, and it just so happens the things I tell myself are what other people need to hear too. And it's super unfortunate that a lot of other people in this world just aren't 
that privilege to hear these words. And I, I'm pretty young. I'm only 20, you know, but I'm wise beyond my age. You know, age is just a number and I've experienced a lot, you know, so I, I don't want anyone ever discrediting like what I know and the experiences I've been through, because just because I'm younger than you potentially doesn't mean I don't know what's going on in the loop. So keep that in mind. But um, yeah, finishing the how, how I'm going segment. Um, life's great. Can't complain. Well, obviously I can, but uh, re realize, uh, and realistically speaking, if I did, I'm complaining about first world problems that a lot of other people would uh, die to have. So I can't complain. My life is fantastic. I'm living a dream and best believe I'm trying to make it even better. You know, uh, I'm trying to be a one percenter, uh, not just monetarily, but like, you know, uh, relationship wise, uh, status wise amongst my peers, uh, educationally, uh, education wise, you know, uh, whatever, whatever it has to be. I'm just trying to be at the top of my game. You know, I, I normally say above average and an average is what most people are doing, you know, and I'm not most people. So I've always had the mindset that I'm trying to not do what most people are do, but you know what? I'm shooting for the stars, you know? They say if you shoot for the stars, you'll land on the moon, okay? And the moon is a lot more than the earth, okay? Every, everybody got that to some extent. But who's on the moon, you know? Some people are trying to get to Mars. Some people are trying to get to Jupiter, you know? But like I said, you got to shoot for the stars, hope to land on the moon. And once you get to the moon, trust me, it's a hell of a lot easier to keep going. So that's what we got going on there. And uh, we just grinding right now. If you're watching this, I'm... Uh, looking at uh my computer background i was I, I need to get this poster board from my dad's house it, it, it's in my old room uh that my sister now sleeps in somewhere and i, I need to grab this i, I want to take this uh, back to college with me because like this this is where inspiration this is true love from supporters you know from you know lauren pakulas gracie stark jenna mcguire you know we got big money Jaden kittner paris holland van meter you know, we got Brandon, Delana, uh, you know, Margaret, you know, we got we got everyone on here, you know, even more. And you got uh, Carter's uh, fun phrase right there, you know, uh, shout out to Carter May. Hopefully, hopefully you coming back to the marching band next year, my guy. But um, yeah, so I'm going to get that actual poster. I want to redo the Martian lady right here, too. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I want to re I want to redo that and, and make like a Martian guy in like red or something, you know. Uh, but that's a summer project. I'm, I'm learning how to backflip. Um, I got the somersaults down. My Makako is all right. It could be better, but you know, trust me, like uh, I could do a backflip right now, but I just want to make sure I do it the right way and learn the steps. So trust and believe, you know, we working on goals of making money. We working on goals of being successful in life. We working on little goals of just, you know, little, little things I just want to do here and there. Like I said, a backflip. Um, being real with y'all, what I just did to, today in today's workout, cause uh, I, I've been I've been real with y'all, you know, cause like I said, holding myself accountable. I gained like 30 or 40 pounds over the COVID pandemic, and and it was tough, you know. And I could I, I can already tell I've slimmed down. You can see it in my face already, and like my jawline and all that, and my my actual like cheeks and everything, you know, my natural jawline highlights coming back. And literally, if you look back, like like four months ago in these videos, you know. Like, it, it, it was double chin Darshan, little chunky Darshan shirts, super tight. This is a large t-shirt, and you see, it, it's it's getting baggy again, you know? Back then, it was tight. I had to start squeezing back into XLs. Don't don't get it twisted. I still do that because I'm a nice baggy fit. It's nice, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm a large, okay? I don't need to be a medium. I used to be able to fit a medium, but it was tight, but I could comfortably fit a large again, and, you know, I, I'm getting back in it. But what I had said I'd talk about earlier was the fact that, um, you know, pre when I was working out like three hours a day, six days a week or whatever, eating healthy, drinking that water, and I got my life in check, you know, I got slim, slim. I think I, I think I was approaching 200 and uh, 200 pounds, but you know, obviously I gained some muscle weight, so it wasn't actually 200 pounds. I was like, I was like 230, something like that. And like I said, I gained 30 or 40 pounds. So, you know, you do the math, you know where I'm at approximately now. Um, uh, I used to be able to do like 10, 15 pushups. You know, now, like, don't get it twisted. You know, some of y'all may be like, okay, that's not a lot, Darshan. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. 10, 15 push ups, 230. You think you strong? You think you structured? Hey, for me, from a person who, who, for most of my life, I was pretty skinny. I never was big until I, like, broke my ankle and then I gained 50 pounds that I, I couldn't lose. But then I lost it. And then, 
uh, I'd never had like set like fitness goals or anything. So I went from like not being able to do a push up to like, yo, bro, I could do like 15. You know, and I was feeling like hot stuff. You know, I was feeling proud of myself. I was feeling great. I was feeling like I'm, I'm somewhat in shape because I know people who can't even do one, you know. And speaking of not being able to do one, uh, being that I gained all that weight and I lost all the muscle. So I just gained fat. I, I, I wasn't able to do a push up anymore. I was barely able to do like a modified push up on the knees. But now I could do like 30 modified push ups on the knees. Don't get it twisted. I probably could do more. But as Muhammad Ali or whatever said, I don't start counting till it burns. And uh, when I said 30, I was counting from the beginning. And once it started to burn, I did like five more because, you know, growth. And then I was like, no, nah, I'm good, bro. My arms are d dying. I don't, I don't know if I can go back up one more, which is good. You want to go till you can't go. And then you want to go one more, you know? Uh, but getting to the point, I did three push-ups today, okay? No modified push-ups, like, like straight back, like on my toes, hands structured. I got, I got the full 90 degree. Okay, maybe it was like 85 degrees, but cl close enough. Clo it's, it's close enough. Relax, okay? But like a 90 degree bend in the arm. So like, I did three of those, three of those back to back. And then I, I held it up there. I was like, I could do a fourth, you know? But like, I'm more proud of myself. So don't, don't get it twisted. We getting back to 15 and don't best believe we're not content with that i'm trying to go bigger and better i'm trying to i'm trying to lose more weight than i lost the first time because it's 2021 y'all we moving different health is wealth and that means mentally too so get your mental health in order you know you can have all the flashy cars you can have all the flashy jewels you know the watch bands the the money the chains you know what i'm saying you can have all that but it don't mean nothing if you ain't stable up here and, and if you need to go talk to a friend about that then go do that and if you need to go talk to a counselor about that go do that if you need a dog or a cat or you need to just go on a long drive in your car on some backcountry roads go do that whatever you need to do Go do that, okay? For me, that's preaching the that's preaching the gospel, okay? And the, and this is my gospel is positive vibes, positive energy, positive lit lit things, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I've been daily uploading on YouTube, been doing this every day for a week as of tomorrow. So this will be my six days straight. Man, daily upload is kind of lit. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure why I wasn't doing this since like freshman year of high school. I might be rich and famous, but at the same time, like I said in the last Positivity Hour episode, I'm trying to be rich. I don't know about the famous part. Like, don't get it twisted. I like being well known. I like being connected with people. I like I like going into different settings and always knowing someone. You know, and that's the life I live now. You know, obviously, if I don't know someone, I'm an outgoing extrovert. I'm gonna be shaking some hands, exchanging some daps, and pulling out the phone number. Okay, but uh, if that doesn't, if that already exists, then you know the vibe. We gonna get this bread. So, mmm water is so good but like i was saying in the last episode um i like doing the rich thing you know but being famous no 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 no. i'm trying to be the 15th richest person in the world like do do you personally know who the 15th richest person in the world is okay I, i'm gonna give you a couple seconds to think about that because if not i'm gonna google it the the 15th richest person in the world as of today is Let's go to Business Insider. Shout out to shout out to Business Insider. It's a it's a French woman by the name of I have no clue. Plus, at the same time, there's so many different lists. Like the French woman, I just looked at her net worth was 60, 69 billion, but the 15th richest person according to uh, this other website is some some uh, Chinese man uh, like Zhao Shenzhen. You know, I, I can't pronounce it. I, I apologize to my Chinese viewers. I mean, realistically, they ain't watching this because they don't believe in free press and all that. But um, yeah, and their net worth is 62 or 69.2 billion. So best believe, like I said, I, and you have no clue that that person is like they, they sell soda pop and some other things, you know. Um, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be the richest person in the world because everyone knows who that is. It's either Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, or Bill Gates, okay? But, best believe, I'll be the 15th richest person in the world because I got that bag and you have no clue who I am. So, best believe, we gonna get it one way or another. But, moving on 
from the topic of me doing three push-ups as a monumental achievement because it's not it's just something like hey i used to be here i used to do five times that but it's okay you know uh we gotta work somewhere i did three i'm gonna I'm do three before i go to sleep so i can do four tomorrow when i wake up you know what i'm saying it, it's a grind you gotta work at it day uh evening night whatever you know uh, Myron Gaines from the Fresh and Pit, uh, Fresh and Fit podcast. You know, shout out Fresh Print CEOs. Also, um, said it perfectly. You know, this lifestyle change you want to do to get into shape and all that. It's a twenty four seven every day a week thing. You know, some people say like, yeah, I can have a cheat day here, cheat day there. Well, like you realize, like you have a cheat day a week. That's that's fifty two days a year. That's almost two months. Now imagine if you didn't have that cheat day, how much farther you'd be. That's two months of like less calories or more working out or whatever, you know? So ju ju just think about that. Think about that. It's all mental, okay? So get the bread, y'all. But uh, mo like I said, moving on from all the fitness stuff, you know, drink some water. I've always drank this whole thing in this podcast episode. I'm thirsty, y'all. Ooh, that workout got me toasted. I, I did some, uh, I got, I bought some resistance bands and I was, I was doing some workouts today. Ooh. They had me had me smoked okay but best believe i got the heart rate up i was breathing that high intensity workout training you know we getting this bread y'all we losing this weight y'all all right plus i can already see it like i said in my face i can see it in my stomach you know some of the some of the rolls the the uneven parts of the skin are starting to smooth out again so best believe it it's hey hey the weight is going somewhere it's coming out through pee and uh through breath okay but maybe i'm getting a little too too uh in depth okay <laughs> i noticed how that rhymed but uh yeah Academics wise, I was driving the bus uh, like a day ago, not not a day ago. Yesterday was Saturday. I don't drive the bus on the weekend and or Monday, but I might work tomorrow because you know it's the summer. I ain't doing nothing special tomorrow. I might as well make some money other than posting this YouTube video and trying to figure out how to start a business and real estate and all that stuff. You know, and talk, networking, brother, and all that. So, you know, we lit. But like I was saying, academic wise. Um, I'm still like in that stage where I'm not sure like what I want to do with my career because I can have a diploma and a real job and a certificate and a minor and all that in like two years, you know, but I could also go to grad school, further my education and all that uh, for another four after that, four, six, twelve, whatever it, it may be, you know, and I was thinking while I was driving the bus, you know, I was like, well, what are things I'm interested in? I'm interested in helping people who look like me upgrade themselves and how to navigate this world that we live in, especially in America, being 70% white, this white world we live in, you know, realistically speaking, because it's kind of dangerous out here for us, folk, especially the influential ones, the ones with money, the ones who are doing things like I'm trying to do, breaking the, breaking the norms and, you know, doing bigger and better things, you know, and the topic is that. I'm already doing that. That's why I want to get the minor in African American studies. That's why I want to get a certificate in like urban planning or something. But I'm not even sure I want to do the certificate anymore. Maybe I just want to like major in African American studies because I could do that. You know, I, I have the time in my schedule because I have 42 free semester hours. That's 36. So I'll still have time to I'll still have time to, to take something else. Maybe I'll get uh, two mi majors and a minor. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But. Uh, I, I've been going back and forth about if I want to go to grad school or not. And I was thinking, you know, like, why do I want to go to grad school? Yeah, some of it is just to get doctor in the name. My initials are DRS, you know, Dr. Smith. Maybe my mom was onto something there. Maybe that's the motivation why I want to go to grad school to get my doctorate, my PhD in sociology, you know. But another reason I was thinking is maybe I just want to go to get such a high prestigious job and level of attainment and education where I can prove all the haters wrong who said like you as a black man in america wasn't gonna be nothing you know i i wrote that down on the sheet because sometimes like when i maybe like sometimes i think that's the whole reason i went to college you know because i'm a firm believer you don't need to go to college to make money you know you don't need to go to college to live a successful positive life you know and all that but i went you know i'm two years in and i still got two to go potentially more and especially this is me trying to justify the more but I started thinking and I was like, you know what, you know what? So I was thinking, I, I like helping people. I like helping black people uh, especially, um, or I, would, well, I want to help black people more especially. And I was like, well, I also like money. You know, I'm a big fan of money. Uh, I say I don't care about money because I don't, but I understand the power of money and those are two different things. 
So I'm like, okay, so I want to help people. I want to help black people and money. This is the trifecta here. So I was like, okay, so my junior year, which is coming up in the spring, I'm going to take an honors course to prepare me to write a thesis paper. And in that in uh, uh, a paper, you know, thesis, you know, argue it, all that, you know, special stuff. It's a good prerequisite, especially if you're trying to go to grad school because you're going to write your own 40 page plus research paper with all the sources, all the research, all that. You know, you're doing the thing that you're about to go to more school and pay even more money to do, you know, stuff like that. And it's like, yo, so I want to write that paper about like financial literacy and like the racial wealth gap in our country and i already know there's a wide variety of uh literature you could say out there on this topic i mean the professor i'm taking a class with i've taken three or four of her classes already but in this case it's an african-american studies class uh which you know it's like a, an elective for the african-american studies minor i'm trying to do i think and um uh, it's called black debt white debt you know analyzing the racial wealth gap and it's like okay i literally want to write my paper about this with the focus in like housing inequality you know i was thinking about all of this when i was driving the bus and i was like dang that's how that's how i write the paper but now i have something i'm passionate about enough that i would be willing to go to more school to do it and if you follow me on instagram my uh my, i have a business account and this is motivational speaker now if you know me have talked to me in person everybody and their mama says I'm going to be famous one day. I'm going to be rich one day. I'm going to be a motivational speaker. I need to be a TV show host, whatever it has to be. And I was thinking, you know, monetarily, okay, like, like if I do that, I get a more prestigious, higher paying job, which gives me the ability to save that money, invest it so I can actually retire when I'm 35. But also it gives me the freaking platform to teach about my own research in why black people are so down you know how to change that system and how to better those lives and then especially i know many people who are doing the career uh maybe not on the specific research interest but the career i'm talking about who write books who talk at uh talk shows who go on news who go on radio and podcast and whatever else you want to say and they're turning TED Talks and their motivational speakers. Perfect example, uh, Beverly Tatum uh, Green, I'm pretty sure is her name, social psychologist, PhD, doctor, you know, shout out to the woman herself. She's she's doing that, you know? And it's like, okay, like, I, it's like, yo, this is, this is a way to finesse the system. So I literally am gonna get paid to do what I would have done for free, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I'm, I'm, I, I've, 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 I'm not saying I'm 100%, you know, satisfied with all of these justifications I've made, you know, trying to get, try to justify like why I want to go to grad school or whatever. But I'm saying I, I have a lot more reasonable justifications than I did before. And a lot of that comes down to, like I said, the money I would be able to make, the money I would be able to invest, the, the, the people I would be able to teach and the platform I would gain to teach it. And those are those are four things that are very important to me in my life. And if going to grad school gives me access to, access to that, then I'm gonna do it. And as uh, someone I was in class with learned from the professor I was with too, they said very simply, if you gotta pay for grad school, you ain't doing it right. So best believe my party people. And uh, not to mention, if you are a graduate teaching assistant, you get paid for that. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work, but money is money, my G. And um, so why would I not get paid to get a PhD, you know? So I, I'm just finding more and more ways every day to, to make this a reality. And best believe, now that I've said it on the camera, uh, I need to write this down and I need to like set up a meeting with some of my previous professors. One, to like get the conversation going. And then two, uh, or one, A, now that the conversation is going, when I start applying, I'm gonna be like, hey, yo, bro, you need to write me a letter of rec. Cause I got some people on the arsenal networking people I've took in class with gone to office hours with and their, their word means something in the field I'm trying to go into and I've seen people get a letter of rec 
and get into a school they weren't qualified for anymore. You know, or qualified, you could say, because they didn't have the money, they didn't have the grades or whatever. But as soon as they got let our, that letter of rec, they were like, nah, this a, is a real one right here. They were like, okay, I bet. And I'm trying to be that person where they're like, I bet, okay? Mm. I think I found out the title of this video. It's gonna be, I already did going after new goals, but it's like, I'm gonna be like, um, find, find how one finds their purpose in life, you know? That, that's what I'm gonna title this one. Um, and I, like, I've talked about how I found my purpose and found what I love to do and, and and it's stuff I've tried to do. Like I volunteered at like United Action for Youth. I was their social media influencer. I interacted with uh, the children and all that. People who look like me, the, the, the disadvantaged folk, the people who are excluded from society, stuff like that. You know, I've hung out with them. I've taught them, you know, done, done that, you know. I, I'm trying to get this work experience. I was just doing some things in the law system, you know, that are resume builders. I'm doing things for AT&T that are resume builders. You know, I'm out here gaining all the experience possible. So, so, so I can, I can know back to Fresh and Fit podcast. They said, well, they talk about like women and, and like, uh, especially men trying to wife women, you know, how you going to know what's wife material if you haven't experienced a wide variety of things, you know, and uh, if, if you're listening and you know what that means, then you know what that means. Uh, that doesn't mean go cheat, but that just means don't wife up a woman in your 20s, you know. Uh, the women are trying to get wifed in the 20s because they need the security, but at the same time, a man don't become until like they're like 35, 40, you know. And men can have kids to the day they die, so, and that's why men love the young women, but that's a whole other conversation for a different day. But, um, because women can't, you know, can't is what I'm saying. Um, but moving on from that, finding your purpose, you know, since, since that's now the title of this episode, because I'm actively working on mine through conversations with my stepmom. She's doing the same thing. She's moving on up in her uh, career as a lawyer and all that and, and doing this and doing that, doing big things. Same thing with my dad, same thing with my brother. I'm trying to get my family, my, my, my family here. I live with my mom, stepdad, all my sisters. I've always told them, save your money. And if you spend it, buy something long, that lasts longer than five minutes and that'll add value to your life. So best believe like this is an active process, but how you can do this is being honest with yourself. You know, what are you doing to, to have someone who disagrees with you in life? You know, you there's a difference between having proactive conversations uh, that are productive versus uh you know reactive conversations that that are pretty feeling spaced and not logical you could say uh, and i just want to make sure we're still recording here oh the, we're 27 minutes in my camera's looking like it's about to overheat but we're still good so far so we lit almost a half hour podcast episode um but like i was saying so what what can you do to do this and as i said like do you have that opposition in your life that can give you constructive criticism and feedback you know do you have a wide variety of people in your life that you can go to who are experts or know a little bit about this field that field a little bit of every field you know are you putting everything on the line like your life depends on it because your life does my party people okay i like to be all positive i like to be all lighthearted, but i'm serious like like what you do right now predicts and it doesn't predict it is the direct cause of where you're gonna go in life and if you are messing around now and not being true truthful with yourself and not being like 100 percent honest and real with those around you you, you know you're, you're not putting in, in your you're putting up with the with the bs and all that then you're setting yourself up for failure you know what you need to do you need to be 100 percent honest you need to stand on what you mean you need to stand on what you said okay and if you mess up own up to that and turn your l into a lesson okay my party people it's not that hard now if you need to be social with that and talk to other people do it we are social animals okay we're humans Oh, primitively speaking need each other now with technology money and everything else you know you can get away with that but even the smartest richest most out there people eventually are going to need to talk to someone it don't matter how introverted you are you're going to need some form of other human contact or you're going to feel isolated from society and then delete yourself from the world if you know what i mean 
So obviously we don't need anyone deleting themselves from the world. That's why I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care about your political view. Okay, I'll dis I'll, I'll disagree with you on some things, but best believe I still got you. And, and if I can find respect for you, then like we can come to an agreement. That agreement might be let's agree to disagree, but it's an agreement never nevertheless, you know. Like I said, where's that positive discourse? Where's that where's that uh you know competition, you know? Um not competition, that's a bad word. I'm not competing with anybody but myself. That's a mindset right there. Get that, because that that'll take you far in this life. But let me swallow the spit in my mouth. God dang, I thought I was getting rabies. Well, um uh, my camera overheated and then it stopped recording like a minute before I was actually done so when i clicked the uh, stop recording it started recording so i watched it back and i was talking about like rabies or something in my mouth um i then started talking about how like you know i'm, I'm out here doing this because it's bigger than me like my everything i'm doing in life you know i'm trying to put my family on i'm trying to put my the people i respect on you know i, I i'm I, i'm done saying friends you know and all that it's just it's it's just people i respect friends is such a an overused word you know it's it's only people i respect from now on so and i don't respect that many people so and that's why i said i don't have that many friends haha <laughs> it's a connection you see what i'm saying but um yeah so i'm out here doing it you know for my family for the people i respect uh you know my, my loved ones all that and uh black people you know i'm trying to make black people proud and i'm trying to lift us up you know because uh, we living in this white world but best believe baby we are the world majority, okay? And we have the most diverse uh, genetic gene pool because uh, black uh, all life originated in Africa. So relax. Don't cancel me because it's facts. I'll show you the research papers uh, peer reviewed by white people, okay? So back up off me, cuh. It's genetics. You can't you can't fake that. Take some DNA from me. You'll see. And um, yeah, that's it. So make sure you uh, share, like, report, unsubscribe, subscribe, hate, comment, dislike. I don't care what you do as long as you're staying positive. That's all, all that matters at the end of the day. Now, the real question is, can I have this online in 45 minutes? Well, let's see. <laughs> we out. Woo.